Hi everyone, it's Mr. Leakes here again. Um, today, before we start reading the, the next text, we're going to look again at some of those key words that hopefully we can understand the meaning of, um, but also make sure we spell them correctly. Now, by now you should be um, quite good at using the range of strategies um, that we've looked at to to check up on unfamiliar words independently. And so if you'd rather not watch this video, if you'd rather have a go at looking up those unfamiliar words yourself, please do. And maybe watch the video afterwards to see how you got on. Okay, so the first word we're going to look at is joints. And just as before, <clears throat> if we simply type the word into our search engine, we can see immediately um, some information which is around a joint is between two bones. And so I'm just going to check on word hippo. Which is the preferred website for looking up the meaning of unfamiliar words, certainly for children. And here we are. Um, it's the plural of the word joint. Then if I click on that, it shows you it's where two components of a structure join. Okay, so a joint. The next word we're going to look at is competitive. Now again, I'm going to use my breakdown and repair skills and I can see this word that almost looks like competition. So it may have something to do with competition. So let's take a look. Competitive. Competitive. Here we are. Um, okay, those were, those meanings are quite tricky for me to understand. So let's have a look at the images. So it looks like here we've got people that are racing against each other. So I'm thinking that it might have something to do with wanting to win. And that is what it means. To be competitive means to want to win. Um, motivate. So let's have a look at that word, motivate. Here we are. To provide someone with a reason for doing something. Okay. So if you're motivating somebody, you're trying to help them by giving them a reason. The next word is unique. U-N-I-Q-U-E. It's quite a tricky word that. So let's have a look on word hippo this time. Unique. Q-U-E. Okay, so something that is unequaled or unmatched. Hmm. It's rare. Okay, I do know what that means. It's a rare quality. Okay, so I'm thinking unique might mean rare. Routine. 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 Okay, those pictures don't really help me. Uh, but I do know... Ah, oh, here we are. This is actually quite useful. It shows you lots of pictures of what you can do in a day. And a routine is a sequence of actions that are regularly followed. So a routine is something you do regularly in a sequence. Very. Okay, I know how to spell very, V-E-R, but this isn't that word. This is very. So it's V-A-R-Y. Okay, to differ in size. It changes, it varies. Okay. And then finally, persuade. Persuade. Let's have a look at word hippo this time. Persuade. Uh, 
here we go. Okay, to, to agree or try to convince. So maybe you have tried to persuade your parents to give you sweets. And that's it. So now we understand those words. Try to remember the spelling, but more importantly, the meaning. And as you read the text, hopefully you'll have a better understanding.